the play is set in pandemic times and it centers around a group of people playing Dungeons and Dragons. The B and B campaign is about saving a town from a mysterious fog. But on a deeper level, I think it's about um, relationships and forming relationships despite what obstacles might be in place, and still being able to make and keep friendships. And it just takes them on this unexpected adventure. It's a very different play this year, since you know there's no, um, we're not we're not in person. Usually you perform on a stage, but here it's just on Zoom. It's like a TV series, honestly. It's a fun time just to have something that realistically feels like a D&D &D game and just a bunch of kids messing around with a D&D &D game. I think that's one of the things that came out really nicely with this. Uh, but it also has a little bit of a theater nerd spice, I like to call it, in which we also also act like the theater nerds that we are in this company. Dungeons and Dragons, baby. <laughs> Even for watchers who don't have experience with D&D, &D, the play's been narrated in a way that still makes, makes the campaign easy to follow. The characters, in every production, all the characters are wildly um, unique. They're very unique. And uh, in this production, sometimes that character in the play will be playing another character. So you'll get a kick out of watching characters play other characters that are similar and different to their actual personalities. And everyone can relate to it in some way. I mean, we are so many characters and they all have like their personal issues and it just reflects what's happening now in society. I think that the like message, I guess, is kind of cool in these times where it's like you can escape and you can find other ways to kind of make things that you want become a reality. What makes this play unique is probably um it's cast and it's characters i think um and just the way that we incorporated dungeons and dragons into it um i think that's what makes it very special um it's also very sentimental at least to me <laughs> personally i think what makes this play unique is the fact that we made this all through zoom we've never actually got to see each other in real life and like act out everything that we would when we if we were on, in a real life theater but i feel like the effect of the the shows still as much there's still so much tension there's still so much emotion there's still enough drama um especially teenage drama and it's pretty amazing how we like we're able to capture that all in just this zoom world yeah isem's first online play and um i guess yeah we get to use our rooms as a stage which is quite unique yeah, and also it's unique because um, I don't know if this is true, but like you can verify this. Like it, it's the first or at least like one of the first times where you have like um, all, all the material or at least the musical material. Um, it, it's coming from the students. So it's coming from Tri-M and that's really unique. Ride the Sky, a production that is totally on Zoom and that really um, works for the limitations of today's quarantine. It's all original. We have six episodes ranging from 15 to 20 minutes that have combined both music from Trium and uh, digital um, uh, animations from Dennis and I don't know, we also have Sandro who made a lot of uh, different edits to the piece to make it very coherent, and I just think that's amazing. Thank you all. Let us begin our journey. Oh, <laughs>